Good morning, everybody. We're headed towards Oatman, Arizona this morning. I can't wait to see this. We've never seen this before. This road is not very... <laughs> this road is not cooperating with me. It's like... Uh, up it's like it's down. an old road. <laughs> <I know. laughs> up and down and up and down. <laughs> That's the old Route 66 for you. Wow, this is tighter than I remember it. At least I know vehicles over 40 feet or whatever. No kidding. Mm -hmm. The way they were coming in is through Sick Reefs Pass. And this is not RV friendly, just to let you know. Do you have to come this way, either way we go, to get into Oatman? No, you can come in from Laughlin's side. Okay, so we came in from... Kingman's side. We came in through Kingman's side. Burroughs, next eight miles. This is the top of Sitgreaves Pass. And we'll be headed into Oatman from here. before but it was really early in the morning and the burrows weren't out yet and none of the shops were open so we wanted to come back and see what this is like this is really a fun little stop along route 66 Oatman was settled around 1915 when two prospectors discovered a gold strike reportedly worth 10 million dollars hi baby hi Hi, look at you. Look at you. The wild burrows here in town are the ancestors of the original ones that were here during the time that the mines were open. Those burrows were set free when the mines all closed. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Come here, baby. Okay, thanks. I'm sorry. Break them up, drop them down, let them play. Those are old advertisements. Yeah. Okay, sorry. No, it's okay, you didn't know, but yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a baby. Oh, how cute. The town was named after Olive Oatman. As the legend goes, she was kidnapped as a young girl by the Yavapai tribe, then later sold to the Mojave tribe. 
They treated her just like she was family, and one of the things that they usually do is they tattoo their face. So you'll see in some of the pictures here that she has a tattooed face, and that's the reason for that. In 1921, the town was pretty much destroyed by fire, except the Oatman Hotel had been spared. This is inside the Oatman Hotel. The Oatman Hotel is pretty famous. It was the honeymoon spot for Clark Gable and Carol Lombard. You can still visit their honeymoon suite. There's also reportedly a ghost by the name of Odie who resides in the hotel. Put your hand out flat. Let him get it out of your hand. I was trying to get one at a time. Hurry, pay attention. You're gonna have him sneak up on you. Yeah. Okay, move away. Move away. We had a little bit of an aggressive match between two burrows going on down there. So we had to duck into one of the shops. They told us, don't stand on the porch because they might all come rushing in. Well, that didn't disappoint us at all. That was a great stop. You have fun? Had a good time. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Those were uh, kind of aggressive though, a lot more than I thought they would be. So you have to kind of watch out. But yeah, I would think that this would be a fun little stop for anybody that was in the area. We'll catch up with you guys later. Bye.